Hey, what's going on, Bully Pulpit Faithful? It's your friend Daniel in Medora, North Dakota, coming to you live from beautiful Bully Pulpit Golf Course with our awesome head professional, Pat Rominger. Pat, how's it going, man? Oh, it's going great. Beautiful day here in the Badlands. Uh, great to be with everybody, and uh, let's get these questions firing. Yeah, so like Pat said, we're going to be taking your swing questions, okay? So if you're a hack like me and you want to know how to stop hooking it or slicing it, off the tee or in the fairway, let us know in the comments below. We put up a Facebook post a couple of days ago asking for some questions. We have 12 that are going to come at you. We'll take your questions in the comments as well if we have time. Okay, so Pat, the first question we have, Pat, comes from, I think it's your brother, right? Matthew Rominger? Yeah, yep. my, uh, my older brother, Matthew Rominger, okay. that's correct. Gotta love family, gotta that's love right. family. Matt wants to know, I get quick around impact and need help maintaining a consistent tempo. Yeah. What should I do? That's a great question. You know, we're all trying to find that consistency factor within our golf swing. Uh, tempo is a huge part of our golf swing and is the one thing we need to keep harnessed in if, we, if we're looking to play consistent golf in and out. Uh, everybody has their own internal clock, and I think it's important to make sure that you're gaining your own internal clock as well, getting down to the range, figuring out what that is. For myself, it's just a steady one, two within my mind, making sure I'm not getting too quick, I'm not getting too slow about that, staying consistent, and again, you'll find that consistency within your tempo and in that impact position, slowing that down, not getting too quick. Nice. Now, Pat, do you have any specific tips um, or drills for getting a good tempo dialed in before a round. Yeah, so again, if uh, you know, come out to the range, you're taking a few swings, you know, I always promote a uh, consistent pre-shot routine. It's gonna promote a consistent golf shot in and out. So when you get to the range, just work on a little nine to three drill, getting your little, little swing in here, which is gonna be consistent across all golf swings. Just a nine to three motion if you picture a, picture a clock. Again, just set, set the ball down right in the middle of our stance. We're just going to make nine to three swings, thinking of that tempo within our head, and you should be seeing yourself hitting the golf ball a little bit more consistently. Awesome. Matthew, if you're watching, there you go. That's how you can get that tempo there dialed you go, brother. in. There you go, brother. Now, the next question, folks, comes to us from Dallas Anderson, and he has an issue where he's either hitting a fade half the time or piping it right down the middle the other half of the time. A little inconsistent, it seems there, Pat. What would you tell Dallas to help straighten out his irons more consistently? For sure, so if we're, uh, if we're pretending that uh, the hill out there is gonna be, our, gonna be downhill towards the target, right now I feel like I'm pretty uh, straight on a consistent basis. My feet, my shoulders, my hips are all pointed downwards towards my target. For any amateur that's hitting a slice, usually their feet are going to be open to the target and their shoulders are going to be open. So in terms of being open, we're, we're facing left of our intended target. So anytime we're coming down on the golf ball, we're cutting across, throwing side spin onto that golf ball out to the right. So a good little drill to try and get rid of that, just try and take a closed stance. So we're going to back that right foot up a little bit and we're going to attempt to swing the club from an inside out pattern consistently just get on the range don't even have to hit any golf balls just make that motion swinging inside to outside and we'll get a rid get rid of that outside to inside motion and hopefully the ball is going to be straighter awesome thank you pat it's probably going to get some guys hitting a dry eh? yeah you got it there you go okay now our next question comes from jared m fisher He's looking up, lifting his head, not keeping his eyes on the ball. Pat, you got a lot of great athletes out there that, you know, I actually would call myself one of them, that I don't always have to look at the ball. I got a lot of head movement. Yep, sure. You know, how can we keep a stable head that gets us more consistent? Absolutely. All right, so uh, the keys to keeping a stable head, you know, throughout the golf swing, we want to think of our... Our vertical levels here we don't want to feel like we're starting in this position and as we swing we're standing up boom our eyes are at a different level changing our depth perception into the golf ball so we're gonna we're gonna work on keeping our hands nice and tight at impact we're not gonna have our hands way too far forward or way too far back and again just make a kind of the same little drill that we went over nine to three continuing that tempo we should be pretty good what are we looking to in, improve Specifically, iron consistency. Yeah, iron consistency. Yeah, so long irons, you know, they're going to be a little bit longer of a club instead of our normal nine iron pitching wedge, a little bit shorter. You almost want to feel like you still have that nine iron in your hand. We're still swinging a, 
a nice short club. The club's not a little bit longer, even though it actually is. We want to think that it's a small club in our hands. And really just keeping consistency throughout your swing, not swaying too much. You'll find your depth perception is going to be on point instead of flip-flopping all over the place. Awesome. Thank you, Pat. Okay. And again, if anybody out there has any questions that's watching, feel free to type them into the comments below and we'll get them answered for you. Um, our next question comes from Edwin Acosta. His driving and putting aren't good, but where his game lacks is anything within 100 yards. Okay, he's having some issues with that, Pat. How can he get dialed in inside 100 yards? Very good. So it's like they say, drive for show, putt for dough. As we get within 100 yards, that's where we're losing and gaining the most amount of strokes. Again, it, it comes down to our tempo and controlling our swing as much as possible. You don't want to feel like you're going to overswing. I like to place the ball slightly in the back of my stance, so I'm not going to go straight middle. I'm going to go slightly back. That's going to make sure that I am hitting ball first each time, not hitting the ground first. My ball is going to make it to that green. Maybe I'll go a little bit past, but it's good to go past the hole. That means we're giving the golf ball a chance to go in. Awesome, and that's all you can do in this game, right? Give that's it a right. chance. That's right. Give her a chance. Give her a chance, okay? Eric Lominger, Lydia says I love it. Okay? Oh, Whoever Lydia. Lydia is, you got there that There you go, a little you. niece. Nice. Now, the next question comes from Gabe Kipley. Pat, Gabe has a hook that would make anyone blush with embarrassment. How are we going to help Gabe get rid of this wicked hook he's got going? All right, Gabe, let's get rid of that hook and let's hit a butter cut. I'm guessing, Gabe, that you're probably set up pretty open as well, so if my target was straight down, straight out away from where I am, I have a pretty good setup right here, but I'm guessing your setup is kind of opened a little bit where we're cutting across the golf ball, or actually we're hitting that hook, so we're looking to get a, you know, cut across the golf ball here. So in terms of your grip, I'm guessing your grip's a little strong, so in, in, you know, your hand's going to be underneath instead of over the top, so if I make my swing with my hand underneath, boom, my club face is closing down below and that that's going to hood that ball the ball's going to travel right to left so i want to work have you work on getting a little bit of a weaker weaker grip so we're going to grip more in the fingers come over with that hand over to the left side a little bit more instead of being underneath we want that club face to stay open and hopefully that ball is going to go straight maybe even butter cut a little to the right okay now pat it seems like a lot of stuff is it's the fundamentals okay it's Absolutely. getting a good tempo it's yep. setting up right what other fundamentals might our golfer friends that are watching be Absolutely. missing in their game? So I start, I start every lesson with uh, gap, grip, alignment, and posture. So starting with the grip, uh, our, main, our main point of entry into our golf club is from our hands onto the grip itself. So again, having a good grip all in the fingers, we're not gripping it too much in the palms, and we want to make sure that we don't see the whites of our fingers underneath our fingernails. We want to keep it nice and red, make sure we're, we're keeping that pressure pretty pretty even across the board, not too hard, not too light, almost like we want to hold a small bird and we don't want that bird to fly away. Uh, next one's going to be alignment. So again, just like we've been talking about, getting our body, our shoulders square, our hips square, our feet square to the target. We're not too closed. We're not too open. We want to get in that good square posture to start off, set ourselves up for success. Uh, last one's going to be posture. Uh, we want to feel like uh, we can sort of squeeze our hamstrings a little bit and then just uh, just let go slightly is going to get us in a good position. Straight back, our head's right over the golf ball. And we're going to make a good swing going back nice and even. So keeping a good posture throughout our swing, not just at setup, but through the back swing, through impact, we're going to be more consistent. Awesome. Now, Pat, I saw a question that popped up. Equipment. How much does having proper equipment matter? I know people can get fit pretty much anywhere. We even have fittings out here at Bully Pulpit. How important is having good clubs fit? Uh, having, having yourself fit specifically for golf clubs is huge. Uh, it can make a difference. Sometimes it won't make a difference, but most of the time it's going to make a huge difference in your golf swing. Making sure that the shaft is set up properly for your swing speed, whether it's slow or fast, you want to make sure you have that. Whether it's regular, stiff, extra stiff shaft, properly set up for you, as well as your lie angle. Not everybody holds their hands at the same exact spot. Sometimes your, your golf club can get like that. Sometimes it can be like that. We want to make sure it's even every single time. So if I'm taking my, if I'm taking my grip and my hands are super high, that toe is going to dig every time. But if I have my hands really low, that hosel is going to dig every time. Everyone wants to make sure that we get a good solid base and that that club face is flat against the ground. That's going to create more consistent impact into the golf ball. Again, getting away from the heel digging and the toe digging. 
that goes straight through. Awesome. Now, Pat, in his same shameless self-promotion time, great lessons right here. Free, right. Normally, we charge people money for this stuff. Absolutely. Okay, we're going to have in the future. Where can folks get lessons from you at? Absolutely, you guys. You can give us a call at the shop, 701-623-GOLF. Give any of our guys a shout. A shout. Myself, uh, Patrick Rominger, PGA head golf professional here. Jesse Ward's our assistant golf professional out here. And we still have a couple of PGM interns on staff here for the summer. We're starting to leave here within August and September, so we have plenty of people around, plenty of staff to make sure you guys get all your golfing needs and get your golf going in the right direction. Awesome, and boy, has never looked better, am I right? My oh God, Oh my gosh, look beautiful day today. Just got done playing 18 holes. I played Hawk Tree, I played Links in North Dakota, all the golf courses in the area are in beautiful shape, but I gotta tell you, nothing compares to Bully Pulpit right now. Nothing does. So folks, you heard it here first, nothing else compares to Bully Pulpit. The course is in fantastic shape. Okay, we have a great professional staff here that's gonna take care of you the moment you set foot on the property. We can't wait to serve you out here in North Dakota's favorite playground. Share the video right here with all your other hacker golf friends, okay, if they need tips for their game. Happy to share that information, but if you want to really get dialed in, come take a lesson from Pat in person out here at Bully Pulpit Golf Course. Just call the clubhouse, 701-623-GOLF. We'll get you dialed in. That's it from Medora. We hope to see you out here real soon. Take care.